Unmanned aerial vehicles. They're small, agile, and they can give us a bird's eye view from the sky. Hi, I'm Molly, and today I'm going to be showing you how we're using UAVs to help with conservation. Conservation is important for the environment around us. It involves the preservation of things found in nature, like plants and animals. But to work out what conservation efforts are needed, we first need to determine if an ecosystem is in trouble. To do that, scientists often use environmental monitoring, but these techniques have proven to be pretty challenging. That's because in the past, it meant people would have to go out on foot to sometimes remote or geographically vast areas. It was usually expensive, time consuming, and really hard work. But now UAVs are making this task a lot easier. Before we begin a project, we choose a UAV and attach a sensor or camera that suits our particular mission. From there, we send the UAVs up and fly them over an area in a specific pattern at a certain altitude and speed. While the UAVs are up there, we use tracking devices and an onboard computer to monitor where they are in the air. Once we've recorded the data, we load it onto the computer and pinpoint the geographical location. Then we watch the vision back to take a closer look at what the sensors have recorded. What our results look like really depends on the sensor we used. RGB cameras allow us to obtain vision, which we can use to create mosaics of large areas of the environment. Thermal cameras capture the difference in heat signature between animals and their surroundings. While multi-spectral sensors can take still images, which can show changes in the landscape from soils to pools of water. Once we have the information we need, we can then make an informed decision about what conservation efforts are needed. So far, we've successfully used UAVs for a wide range of projects. This includes surveying orangutan nests in the canopies of the dense Sumatran rainforest and looking at koala populations in South Australia. So thanks to our trials, we're leading the way in making these unmanned aircraft the environmental tool of the future. <laughs>